come to this incredibly picturesque place uh, it's way off the beaten path in Albania it's about half an hour um, north of Vlor it's on the coast it's in between the ocean and a saltwater marsh with this huge boardwalk on it and there's a monastery out on the island I'll show you what it looks like here roads coming in to here is so narrow I'm really not sure how cars are passing each other on it without falling off into the thing but let's go and see this place it's so peaceful and there is a really nice breeze coming in on it even though it's a really hot day there's a breeze coming in off of the saltwater marsh it feels really good And I don't know how old this place is. Hopefully, it looks like there's a sign up here may explain some of it. So this boardwalk, really long, goes all the way across this marsh to an island where the monastery's at. And it goes off to the side to a big square on one of them. It's almost like you could land a helicopter on it, it's so big. This is a really, it's just a beautiful place. Of course it has some sad parts to it too, unfortunately. You're not supposed to show this stuff to people and I guess ruin the the idea of the perfect place but people just chuck their trash right over the thing their plastic bottles so unfortunate because like I say it's such a beautiful place it's I mean other than that it's just pristine it's really nice you can see from here the monastery out there on the island. Tons of little fishes in this little marsh. Really quite amazing. This marsh, as you're going across the boardwalk to it, it's got so many crabs in it. I mean, they're just all over the place. And tons of fish. I don't know if you can see this. But they're all over it. Uh, they're good sized crabs. They're about twice as big as uh, twice as big as my hands. Oh, it looks like somebody's caught something here. Yep, he's catching crabs.
coming back away from the monastery back across the boardwalk I noticed this when we first came in but there was a ton of people up there around it but I want to show you is of course a hoja bunker overlooking the monastery coming across from the boardwalk to defend it I'll show you a picture of it So according to the sign, this monastery, they think, was built sometime in the second half of the 14th century. They have a sign. That explains all the history behind it. When we first got here, it was, uh, it was really empty. There's only a couple of cars. Now it's like gotten really, really crowded.